what's good welcome back to the channel today i'm finally bringing you a settings video which has been really highly requested for a while now it's worth noting that pretty much everything in this video is all personal preference it doesn't necessarily mean it's optimal but these are the settings that i use to do all the retina movement we're not going to waste any time let's just get stuck in starting with the gameplay settings here most of these i don't really pay too much attention to but i guess they're turned on and off for a reason i think the ones i usually look at are crosshair damage speed feedback right here which is basically your hit markers i occasionally turn these on if i feel bored because i know it's kind of satisfying having hit markers but i turn these off mainly because i think they're just visual clutter um damage numbers sometimes i faff around with these but i think stacking is probably the best but all weapons cycle on empty you can take it or leave it i mean that's definitely personal preference now auto sprint is a big one for me the reason why i have this on is because when i first switched to mouse and keyboard I was always having issues holding down shift with my pinky and because I was trying to get into the habit of holding it down I'd often hold it down when I didn't need to and I'd also end up holding down other buttons I don't know why it's just like a problem with my hand and uh, I just have it turned on so I can sprint around everywhere the advantage is that on Revenant his crouch speed is the exact same as walking so if I want to go at walking speed I can just crouch then for my reticle it's my settings right here. I've changed my reticle quite a few times over the years. Um, I really do miss the neon reticles that we had where it was like bugged out and you can make them super vibrant. Um, sometimes I go with really bright green and sometimes I even try to completely blacked out reticle. Uh, but this is the one I'm using right now. Colorblind mode on Tritanopia. This is also personal preference. I'm not colorblind. It's just I really like the vibrant colors that this saying gives. Okay, now onto my keybinds and my sense. I have changed sense a lot over the years, just sort of like gone back and forth between random stuff and tried all sorts of things. I find myself changing my sensitivity when I get bored on this game, I don't know why, just sometimes I want to switch it up. But this is the sense I always go back to, and that is 1600 DPI and 0.8 mouse sense. I've been playing on this for a while and it's usually really reliable and I always go back to it even if I like start experimenting with other senses. It's all personal preference, so give it a go if you want, but it's no promise that it'll work for you. Your settings are simply a way to perfect your own play style and to enhance your own abilities that you have right now. Just because you copy someone else's isn't going to give you superpowers. Mouse acceleration turned off, this is absolute garbage. And now we're going to get into the keybinds where stuff starts looking a little bit goofy here and there, but I'll give my reasoning why. WASD really standard and then scroll up for my tap strafe. Shift is here for toggling zoom, even though I don't use it to sprint. I have space and scroll down for jump so I can V hop. I have my toggle crouch on F and then my holder crouch on V. Toggle crouch isn't fully necessary, but I like having it here and there. And V is crouch is to simply help my super guy positioning where my thumb rests on my keyboard. Q is my tack. My ultimate is on caps lock, which is a pretty weird one, I know. And now this is where we get even more stupid. My interact is on my mouse 5. My reasoning for this, there's two reasons. First off, I came from console and on controller, my interact is on the right side of my controller. I always had X as interact on the sticks, so that's on the right side of the controller and I'm right-handed mouse and keyboard. So it makes sense that I'd still use my right hand to interact. On top of that, I don't know why people seem to have this general consensus that E is a remotely good interact key because the amount of times you're going to have to take your finger off of your WASD keys to press E is ridiculous. In between W and D which is moving forward and right your E key is there and you have to hold it down or press it in order to interact with certain items. So if I want to move to the right holding D on, or even like forward and right holding D and W whilst moving towards a death box and holding E or a door and tapping it, I have to take one of my fingers off of W and D to do that. So that's why I have this is my interact so I don't have to cost any of my movement. My inventory is tab. I don't even know why I is there. I never use that. M for my map. Tack obviously for my mouse one. Toggle on T. I use hold to aim down sights. I do see the advantages of toggle but I just could never get used to it with shotguns and snipers. Melee as B, reload as E. So I'm going to have to explain myself for this one as well. So my E is my reload and my R is my heal. Alright listen, just because R stands for reload doesn't mean you have to correlate a key to it. When I first started learning mouse and keyboard, 
I did originally have R as my reload and E as my heal, but as I was learning and playing, my brain was pressing them the other way around. Now learning mouse and keyboard early days, you want it to be as quick as possible, right? You want to get the processes down as fast and learning what keys to press. And for some reason, every time I wanted to reload, I'd end up pressing E instead and it would just get me killed. So I figured, because my stupid ass finger wants to press the wrong key, why don't I just flip the keys and make the process faster? So, my R is my heal and my E is my reload. It made learning mouse and keyboard even faster in their early days. Modern problems require modern solutions, man, I don't know what to tell you. I don't use weapon cycle, this is not something you should be using on mouse and keyboard. The, one of the advantages of mouse and keyboard is the fact that you can specifically bind your keys to specific weapon slots. Scrolling between your weapons is like controller shit. If you're running around and somebody just pops out of a corner point blank and you want to specifically pull out your shotgun first, having weapon cycle on is going to be infinitely worse than being able to specifically press either your secondary or your primary. So X and C are my weapon 1 and 2. Holster weapons, this one's also weird, it's on my mouse. I just feel like it feels nice. I don't know, no reason for that. G is my grenade, R is my heal. And then I never really use these for like any specific meds, but you could set these up if you want. Ping. And then not a whole lot there. I'll do it for the binds. Okay, now moving on to the video settings. We're going to skim over these real fast. Play on 1680 by 1050, which is stretched. Brightness at 50, FOV at 110. Definitely want FOV ability scaling off. This is basically when you stim or you're in Bloodhound Alt, your FOV will change if you have this enabled. So view shake, definitely want that on minimal. And everything here is pretty much low except for this. I don't really know the specifics of how these work, except for the fact that it puts less strain on my PC. So they're all on low or disabled. Okay, but we are not done because now we have to go over my wooding settings. If you're unfamiliar with what a wooding is, it's basically my keyboard. And it's a keyboard that allows you to adjust the actuation of your individual keys. The actuation is the speed in which the input goes in after you've pressed the key. It is worth noting that my specific wooding settings aren't entirely perfected. The old keyboard I used to have was absolutely enormous and I wouldn't go back to it purely based on the fact that I think my old keyboard I was honestly better at super gliding on. Something about it was super consistent, however the thing is completely enormous and takes up way too much space and is very loud on the desk. The wooding however, and even though I don't think I've actually found my true perfect super glide settings here, I would never give this up purely because of what the WASD on 0.1 offers. So what we've got here is on my WASD key, they have a 0.1 actuation. This means that they're going to have the fastest response time possible. The reason this is important and so useful is it makes your strafe lurching way better. Any sort of tap strafing or lurching and it'll circle strafes you do, this is what you want. And in my opinion, this is the absolute best thing the wooding has to offer. Then for my super glides, we have 1.0 on spacebar and 0.3 on the V key. This is currently the best I've found. And Per person, this will change because the position of your keyboard, your hand, your desk, the height of your desk, the angle of your keyboard, everything plays a factor into how well you can super glide and it also changes what actuations are going to work for you. Lemonhead, who's like one of the best super glides, if not the best in the game, has completely different actuation settings to me on his super glide. I've tried them and I cannot hit a single super glide. So, Trust me when I say, these settings may not work for you at all. It is completely dependent on all of those factors I just said, and of course, like, you know, your hand size and the position of your hand as well. This is completely fine-tuned to me, and if anything, could do with a bit more work, because sometimes I feel like my glides are worse on this keyboard compared to my previous, which is a little bit frustrating, but maybe it's just a skill issue on my part. But yeah, these are my settings for my wooding. I'll have the code for my wooding profile if you really want to try it in the description of the video. I'll do it for the settings video. If you guys found this useful, and if you try these settings, be sure to let me know what they did for you and if they work. Of course, different things work for different people, so don't expect these settings to just make a massive improvement to your gameplay. Everyone performs differently with certain settings and preferences. But yeah, I appreciate the support lately, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.